Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's April again. I hope you're having a great day and a happy Earth Day. We are back and we are going to show you how to make a calming Earth Day bottle. We talked yesterday about reusing things to help our planet Earth. So we are going to take a water bottle. Mrs. Renner's going to help me, right, Mrs. Renner? Yes, April, I am going to help you. We have a water bottle. And so you're going to need to take off the plastic around the water bottle like this. April's trying to help me. This is perfect, Mrs. Renner. I know April it's gonna be okay so you need a water bottle let me see sorry boys and girls we are here oh man this is hard so you need to get a empty water bottle that you're not using anymore and we're going to reuse it instead of recycling it we're going to reuse it and make a calming Earth Day water bottle so you need a water bottle, you need beads of any type, and light corn syrup. So Mrs. Renner will show you the supplies. Whoa, Mrs. Renner, those look fun. So you need, you need beads, boys and girls. All different colors, blue and green and brown. Those are like the colors of the earth boys and girls. So you're gonna dump that in your water bottle. I'm gonna help Mrs. Renner now, okay? Hold on. This is not bad. Getting scissors. Ooh, ooh. Oh, thank you, April. You're welcome, Mrs. Renner. Okay. Boys and girls, you wanna dump those beads in your water bottle. lost a couple. Okay, so, oh, Mrs. Renner's mouth hurts from holding that water bottle. Well, my friend April, we need to hold it again because we have to put the corn syrup in the water bottle now, okay? All right, Mrs. Renner, I will try my best to hold the water bottle so you can put the corn syrup in the water bottle. Mrs. Renner, can you show the preschool students what corn syrup is, please? Why, yes, April, I can show them. Boys and girls, this is corn syrup. Maybe a grown-up in your house can help you find out if you have corn syrup. If you don't have corn syrup, you can use clear glue and water and glitter or you could try oil so there's different things you can try when you're making these calming water bottles but we're going to use corn syrup uh, for hours so april has to hold the water bottle again so i can dump the corn syrup in okay i'll be right back boys and girls april will keep you company oh boys and girls this is tricky so i have to be very careful holding that water bottle for Mrs. Renner. So here we try it. We're going to try it again. Are we ready? Okay. Oh, April. Thank you. Whoa. This is hard. Okay, boys and girls. Mrs. Renner's going to dump the corn syrup in the water bottle. So I'm trying to do it so you can see. And I hope that April can hold the water bottle. This is a tricky, tricky, tricky experiment here. So this is an Earth Day water bottle. I think Mrs. Runner's gonna try to set it right here. Whoa! I think it got on my friend April. I think so too. This is tricky. We'll figure it out, boys and girls. No worry. So you have to carefully, let's take a break here. 
think April's hand is, her mouth is having a hard time holding everything. Hold on, boys and girls. Wait one second. Oh, April. Mrs. Renner, you're going to get sticky. Okay, so, try again. Do you see the corn syrup in the bottle there with the beads? Okay, so, have to keep dumping though. See here, boys and girls, I'm trying. So, here we go. We're almost finished. We're using about 16 ounces of corn syrup in the water bottle with the beads. Pick out blue, brown, green, all different colors of beads so it looks like the colors of the earth. And then you just want to put the cap on it. You can tape the cap shut so it doesn't get opened. I think I'm going to stop there. This is this was tricky. So we have the corn syrup in the water bottle. Hold on. Whoa, April. April got a little bit on her nose. Oh my goodness. Boys and girls, it tastes sweet. Corn syrup, syrup is sweet. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's see. So you want to put the lid back on, back on, and then you want to take it and you just want to turn it upside down like this. And you can watch all the beads fall down. And they fall down pretty slow. Whoa, look at that. Wow. It's relaxing. It's supposed to calm you down. So if you're upset or not feeling yourself and you need to sit and think about what you're doing, you can take your calming bottle and you can turn it upside down and watch the beads fall down. I know it's hard to see on my screen. Wow, did you see all those beads fall? And they move slow. What do you think, April? Wow, Mrs. Renner, I love it. I want a calming bottle. Well, guess what, April? You can have this calming bottle. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Renner. All right, so let's turn it back upside down. Make it go this way. They're floating to the bottom. And then you want to turn it again. Oh, look at them go, Mrs. Renner. That's cool. So boys and girls, you can reuse this and this could be your Earth Day water bottle. Use your imagination, use the things you have at home. Um, we want to show you what our butterflies look like. Not our butterflies, I'm sorry. Oh, our chrysalides are in the butterfly house waiting to come out, boys and girls. Now I'm starting to play with this now. This was, a, this was an experiment. I have never done this one before. So again, use your imagination, have fun. I'm going to take April off. She's gonna say goodbye. Bye boys and girls, I'll visit you real soon. Happy Earth Day. Okay, now let's see. We want to show you our, let me get them for you. We want to show you our um, chrysalides in the butterfly house. Do you see them? There's five of them. This is their butterfly habitat. This is their little house. And in about, probably I would say, maybe three to four sleeps, they are going to come out and they're going to fly around in the butterfly house. They're gonna fly around and we'll have to feed them some sugar water or some fruit or you can take a flower and sprinkle a little sugar water on top and they like to eat that. So boys and girls, we have to sleep, like I said, about three to four nights and we'll check back on our 
chrysalides, we're still in the chrysalis stage of the life cycle of the butterfly. Um, and the next stage is the butterfly. The butterfly will emerge and come out. I'm so excited, boys and girls. I will talk to you real soon. Again, happy Earth Day. Have fun making your, um, your calming uh, water bottle. My hands are all sticky now. You can see how sticky I am. Um, but when you do it with a grown-up at your house, um, I'm sure it will be a lot easier for you. Um, again, you just you can turn it. So whenever you need to calm down, you can turn it really slow. And you can watch them fall down in the bottle. And then turn it back around. Whoa! And then you can watch them fall all the way back down. It will help you calm down. If you're feeling sad or upset, this will help you calm down. So I hope you enjoy the um, Earth Day water bottle, the calming water bottle. Again, you could use other um, supplies you have at home to make one. I hope you have fun. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you real soon, boys and girls. Take care. Bye-bye.